to our unboxing of the new CoolPad wireless charging accessories. Uh, first off, we've got the wireless charging pads, um, which are certified to work with any Qi enabled mobile device. Um, so that's any device that's got Qi wireless charging built in, or any device that's been adapted to work with Qi wireless charging. Um, the CoolPad charging pad is available in both white and black. I'm going to go right ahead and unbox the white version now. Um, quite simple packaging. And if we pop open the top here, we'll have a look at what we get inside the box. Put this to one side. Um, quite a basic user manual, just goes through the uh, few diagrams of how to set the pad up. Um, there's a small bit of branding there from the manufacturer. It also includes a couple of um, port covers. So you can cover up the micro USB ports on your device after you've, when you start using it. We've got a large micro USB cable here. Um, longer than the average that you'd get in a, with a mobile phone. Possibly there so you can have the pad set up on your desk. Um, you've got a bit more reach than the standard charger. And the actual charging pad itself here. Right, it's quite lightweight. Um, if you've picked up any of the charging pads from the likes of Nokia or Samsung, they're a little bit weightier. Um, it's got the same kind of plastic construction as you'd expect of one of these kind of accessories. It's a little bit creaky compared to some of the others, but at the price, that's pretty much to be expected. Um, we've tested these and they work perfectly. So, for saving a bit of money, you're definitely getting a worthwhile accessory that works despite the uh, slightly lower construction quality. Now if we plug that in, we've got some mains power just here. Plugs into the micro USB cable, as we can see. That's standard, plug that into mains power. And the light here on the front will go green to show that it's been connected. Um, and once, once you put a device on here, a chain enabled device, that will beep, turn blue, and once the light turns blue, that tells you that the magnetic fields are all aligned and that charging is happening between this device and the Qi enabled receiving port. Now, if we put that to one side quickly, what I've got over here are, from the same company, some wireless charging modules to adapt the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy Note 2 from Samsung. Now, these, will sit on top of the battery underneath the back cover and enable Qi wireless charging. So you don't have to use um, a case accessory. There is a case accessory for the Samsung Galaxy S4 that you can clip onto the back of the device and that will enable the wireless charging. This however allows you to use the standard back cover. Um, and for the Note 2, wireless charging was never even announced by Samsung. So this actually enables wireless charging where it was never enabled before. Now, if we open up the Galaxy S4 charging module, what we have in here is simply a bit of coil in a package, very slim line, and that sits right on top of the battery as the directions here say. You'll spot the output 600 milliamps. That's quite low. It's not as much as the charger that's included with the Galaxy S4. That means that this will charge the battery a bit slower than the standard charger that's included with the device. The same is true of the uh, Note 2 module on the right over there. One good thing about that is that it will reduce the amount of heat that is being produced by this. Something that's been said of wireless charging recently is that Sure, it works, but there's a lot of excess heat and that can damage batteries. Having a lower output, a lower milliamp output on the charging module means the heat is reduced and will conserve the battery lifespan. Now if we pull this, this charger back in, you can watch the light turn from green to blue once I put this module here. There we go. And you hear the beep to say that it's been connected. What you can't hear is also to my left where I've got my power source and my charger. I can hear a bit more. Um, I can hear a bit more noise to let me know that there's definitely, definitely some current flowing through there. 
So once that's on there, the electromagnetic fields are aligned and charging is happening. And um, we've got a Galaxy S4 here. We pop open the back cover. You can see that it fits directly on top of the battery just here. You get that lined up with the black square on the S4 battery. And on the back, there is a, just a peel tab here. If you peel this away, there's some adhesive. So once you uh, take that off, you can stick it directly onto the battery and it won't move underneath the case. I'm not gonna stick that one down right now. But you see, it lines up perfectly. And then if you put the back cover back on, it's a bit of a squeeze. It doesn't fit 100% because Samsung make these cases very tight. You will be able to clip the whole thing down, which is why you need that adhesive, because if you don't put the adhesive on it, then it can slip around inside while you're trying to put all those points down. But you can see I've got the cover on, all the way on, clipped it in, that cover is secure, there's no gaps. You can feel a slight bulging on the back, but that doesn't cause any problems with the device and that means you can now use Galaxy S4 with wireless charging with any standard accessories. So you can put it into any of the official cases that Samsung provide, any of the docking stations, um, any car mounting holders you might have. It will still work with the wireless charging module included which can't be said if you'd have the official wireless charging slip case. And then if I put this back on here, as long as it hasn't moved about inside, yeah, there we go. You hit beep and charging is occurring. One thing to note, you probably can't see on the video because it's a little bit far away. Because this isn't an official Samsung charging case, the lightning bolt won't appear in the battery icon up here but it is charging, we've tested this, and although it charges slower than a standard official charger, it does refill the battery. So, we have the G wireless charging pads available in white and black. There's the black version. Exactly the same internals. And <coughs> the charging modules for Galaxy S4 and Galaxy Note 2. Thanks for watching.